today I will finally be storing photo cards. I have not stored anything since my collection video, and this is the amount of cards I'm going to store today. First, I'm going to start with this My Melody Binder. So I did move my Tay collection into this binder. So it's pretty much just Tay and my extra BTS cards. So for this binder, I have his photo book cards. I believe this is the random and then this is the, no, this is the guaranteed card and this one is the random card. I wasn't planning on getting any of the photo books, but I really liked his concept and also the cover of the actual photo book is very pretty. I do have one more card. I have this Jin astronaut card. He is in my top three, so I did want to get at least one of his album cards. That is all for this binder. Next, I'm gonna do my Itzy collection. For Itzy, I only have two cards to put away. I did kind of downsize a little bit for Checkmate. I just decided to do four cards and I think for Crazy in Love, I just kind of reorganized the cards, and for this era, I also just decided to do two cards for the era. For this page, I have her special Cheshire card with the wand. I think this one's really pretty. I'm really happy we got photo cards for this concept. And for Cheshire, I decided to collect two period benefits and then two album cards. And this is the other album card I decided to get. I decided to just collect her special cards because the normal album cards felt very simple compared to these. I do want to keep my Yuna collection in a small binder. I did keep these two cards. So I think there's just going to be like a section with a bunch of non-album things I decided to collect. Okay, now moving on to my Ray collection. I'm really excited because I am finally storing away a lot of the cards I was missing. And also, I think I'm completing after like first I have her 11 photo cards. I originally wasn't planning on collecting the 11 cards, but I did find trades for them and I was like, why not? That completes 11. I, I'm not going to collect the ID. I think I'm happy with just the album cards and then having one pre-order benefit. Wait, I, I need to drink water. Hold it. Also, like, I just want to show you guys this cute Kirby sticker. It's so pretty. So I ended up getting this pre-order benefit for very cheap. So I just decided to get this instead of the album card because I much preferred her pose in this card. And I also got this album card. Now I'm going to move on to After Like Aram. So I do have this Beat Road pre-order benefit. And then for the album cards, I decided to just collect these two cards because again, I am trying not to over collect for for these collections because I really do want to keep them in a small binder also i'm not really sure what version is what so i'm just gonna put them in next i have this period benefit from naver i am still missing one period benefit but it is from a chinese store so i probably won't get it for a while, so I am not actually done with Afterlife, but I will 
do a flip through because honestly this was a lot to store for this collection and I've been waiting for these cards for a long time and I did set up for their next comeback the last cards I have to store away in this binder are her other peach seed cards she did do another campaign and I kind of am thinking of just continuing to collect them because they are honestly her best cards this has to be her best card the Care Bear and the Bubblegum she did, she knew exactly what the audience wanted so I'm thinking of doing I think this one um, I probably switched this around but that is all I have to store for Ray oh and I also moved Nyan into this binder I decided to collect her very selectively, but I'll talk about it when I actually have cards to store away for this collection. Next, I'm going to do this mini binder. This mini binder used to hold my Bumpy collection, but I moved his collection somewhere else. And in this binder, I keep all my extra cards from, from this binder. The first card I have to store away is this One Young After Like photo card. I am trying to collect one photo card each arrow for her because she is my I guess second bias or yeah my second bias in the group and then the next cards I have are, are very exciting because they are the bow cards I love crazy and love era and I've always wanted to get these two bow cards and they've been like really hard to find for sale in general I was able to find them for like a very good price from the same seller and I just had to get them. Crazy in Love era is one of my favorite eras to collect photo card wise. And the last card I have is this Cheryung Cheshire photo card. This card is actually really pretty. Like, Itzy just get it with cards like every time they have like an object or they're holding something like they also know their target audience. I'm going to like move these around. So I think because these are like black outfits, I'm going to put her here. Wanyang, I'm going to put her here. Probably change this up. But I'll do a little flip through, I guess. And I did downsize some of the units, but yeah, that's all. Next, I'm gonna do my soloist binder. I did downsize a little bit, but not a lot. So for this page, I do have her Make Star Showcase photo card for Love War. I am hoping to get my Love War um, album cards maybe in my next story video but I just really wanted this card because of the little bunny and I have this sound wave pre-order benefit from smiley era and I really wanted this one because of the Powerpuff Girls shirt I love the Powerpuff Girls like they are the original Avengers And I have this random <laughs> Seasons Greeting photo card. I mainly wanted it because she is holding a food prop. And I love food props and plushies. I'm honestly just going to put it here because I'm probably going to reorganize this when I get more pre-order benefits from Love War. But yeah, that's all I have for Yena. For Yuri, 
I am finally completing, well, I'm finally caught up with what I wanted to collect for her. I have Pizza Beauty. I really wanted this card again. I love a good food prop photo card. I did really like her comeback. It came out when I got my driver's license, so it's always ingrained in my mind. Every time I hear it, like I just remember getting my license or like practicing driving to get my license. So I will always love this era just because of that. I associate it with a good memory. That's all I have for the spender. Okay, next I'm gonna do my girl group miscellaneous binder. First I have this weekly photo card. Um, this is Sujin and she is my bias in weekly and I've always wanted this card and I remember it was not hard to get but it was a little bit difficult but now it was it's really easy to find weekly cards so I definitely took an opportunity to get this one because again she's holding a food prop and I did get a pre-order benefit from WePlay I'm trying not to um, over collect for this binder so I think I'm only gonna get these two cards for her honey photo card from new jeans um, from OMG era I really like her outfit and I wanted to have at least one card for her and also she has pink hair so so many idols have pink hair right now like her Haram um, Ray like we love pink hair Next, I have this Haram card from Billy. So pretty, like she has little bears. It's so pretty. And the last card I have to store is this Samina or Semina card. Um, this is Mina. Um, this is a unit from Gugudan, and I really liked Gugudan. Um, obviously, they did disband. But I did want to get one Mina card because she was my bias in the group and I really like this card because of her hair. Oh. Oh. Right, next I'm going to do my big binder which now holds my Bumpkew collection and also Luna. I thought it would make sense to have my Bumpkew collection here because he is my boy group ult. I did get this cute Care Bears holder. This is a replica. I don't know what I want to put here. For this binder, I actually just have other member photo cards store away, so nothing for Heejin. But for this page, I have this Hyunjin K-Tone pre-order benefit. I've always wanted this card, but I, I was like very much only wanting to collect Heejin because Luna they were very expensive but now i think they're like easy to go well not easy but their prices have gone down a lot so it is more possible to collect some pre-order benefits i have this trading card kim whip with the soda this is from the trading card set i and i realized i ended up collecting a lot of cards for for this like training set because I did have a lot of extras to trade so it just kind of worked out I have another training card photo card iconic card very iconic again I like when photo cards have something like a prop it's just, I think a lot of people do but I don't know, they're just like so fun. And I actually have this, um, is also a training card. This is Eve. Yeah. With the cute bows. And I think the bows have like little bears. So I wasn't planning on collecting it, but my friend like bought a set and I wanted to help them out 
So I have this random gold one which I need to find another place to put because it's not a selfie. So I'm just going to put this one here. But yeah, that's all I have for Luna. Next I'm going to do my Bonky collection. I try to do something for the cover because I really wanted to have him on the cover. The way I organized this binder is I did album cards first. So I just kind of organized by the backs. So for the backs, I did Blue Hour across, There's This Child across. No, sorry. There's this child are like together. And then fighter escape. And then the three freeze in the middle. It makes sense to me. And then yeah, so these are album cards. So I am completing all of his um temptation cards. I think I'm just gonna organize this by what I think looks better. Um, I guess I can talk about Temptation as a comeback since I am completing it. I really like this comeback like a lot. It was, I don't know, it's just like because I've been doing a lot of darker concepts, it was just nice for them to switch it up again and that's why I like TXT a lot because they always have like really cool concepts and planning to have like album separate and then these are like the special album cards like weavers um jewel case members pacific cards japanese cards just because that's how it makes sense to me first i have his weavers cards i have both of them my favorite card from the the albums And then I have his lullaby version. So again, I am going to have this in a separate page, but I don't have enough pages. So for now, they're just going to live here. And I did collect pre-order benefits, which I was not planning to. So I do have his Weaver's pre-order benefits from the lullaby version. Next, I have this Dear My Muse Pre-Order Benefit. This is going to be my non-album and Pre-Order Benefit page. And then this is Power Station. For his Pre-Order Benefits, I am trying to only collect cards that are in different outfits. There are two exceptions, that are, which I will get into. Because I don't see myself collecting him fully because th that's too much. I don't think I could keep up. And then I have this MTU prior to benefit. I really wanted this card because I have a Ray card where she's like wearing a similar outfit. Um, they, it's from Miu Miu. I love that brand a lot. So I really wanted to get this card. And I think at the beginning, it was like a broadcast card that had this outfit. I was like, oh, I'm never going to get it. But then they did pre-order benefits. So it worked out perfectly. And the last things. Well, actually I do have a couple more things. But I did end up getting an OT5 Priority Benefit set, which I know is crazy, but I really wanted this card. And I also love this concept because it reminds me of Omori, which is a video game. Um, like the teaser for this concept, the music, like everything reminded me a lot about the game and I really wanted to get it. I'm honestly just going to store these in random order. Um, hmm, I think I'm going to do this one here. I 
thing but like these cards really remind me of omori if you guys haven't played it i would really recommend it but there are a lot of trigger warnings okay that is my first ot5 set which is very exciting um i just kind of did it based on vibes i need to find something to put for the fillers i do still have some other cards to put away i have these i don't like collecting non-selfies but they came with the set i claimed and honestly they're very cute so i think what i was gonna do is i have this hijin page which i did kind of set up for with all like non normal selfie cards and i think i'm gonna put them just in the back so i think i had it set up to have the polaroids be kind of bunched up together and then the concept card which is very pretty actually this is a pre-order benefit so kind of like my plan was to have the polaroids and then the concept cards i do have these ids I need to find it somewhere to put these but I think it looks really nice also they're both wearing like yellow striped shirts so love that and the last card I actually have to put away is this Yeonjun album card which I'm gonna put away in a different binder Superpowers, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup have dedicated their lives to fighting crime and the forces of evil. <laughs>